Hey, I'm Bob. I've been blind since birth and I'm into Power Rangers. If you like the video, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. These things help the channel. So I'm holding the box set in my hands. We're talking about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1, Episode 25 today, Life's a Masquerade. And it aired on October 30th in 1993. So the kids are planning a costume party at Ernie's Youth Center. Well, a costume contest and a costume party. So they're stringing up decorations, I'm guessing. Streamers, I don't know what all. Bulk and Skull are there, but Bulk gets paint slopped all over him, so he's got to go clean it off and try to figure out what they're going to dress up as. Rita's planning a little diversion. She's going to use the costume party as a little diversion because she and her minions are outside of Angel Grove in the caves and they're mining super putty. This is going to help them create stronger putty patrollers and monsters. So she has Finster slap a Frankenstein's monster in the Monstermatic and out pops life-size Frankenstein's monster. I know People erroneously refer to the Frankenstein monster as Frankenstein, so we're just going to call him Frankie for short, just because the kids do. I know it's uh, I know it's an error, but anyway, yeah, it would be cool to have a Frankenstein's monster in the Lightning Collection. I wish Hasbro would make that. He have his bolts that you could attach from his neck. They're connected to a to a chain, so I guess he would wield them like nunchucks. He'd be a fun monster to stand alongside Pumpkin Wrapper and some of your pumpkin-headed putties around October. So yeah, cool figure to add to the Lightning Collection Hasbro in case you're ever watching random <laughs> dudes posting about Power Rangers on YouTube. So Frankie's sent down to Earth and he does infiltrate the costume party. Uh-oh. Alpha shows up. Alpha 5 is not wearing a costume, of course. He's just his regular robot self and he's amassing quite a fan club of girls, unlike poor Zack, who uh, he's having trouble getting his his potential uh, girlfriend, Angela, to date him. She just won't say yes to him. I think this is the second time we've seen her turn him down. And uh, I, I do feel a little sorry for the guy. He's trying so hard and, and he seems like a cool dude. So Frankie is skulking around, probably trying to corner the Rangers, maybe get them off by themselves so he can wail on them. And uh, this one girl wants to dance with him, and he winds up kind of pushing her aside. And Billy was under the impression that this monster was Tommy, because Tommy had gone to find his costume or finish working on it. And Billy thought Tommy had already showed up, but uh, he decides to follow Frankie out of the youth center. And he winds up heading to Angel Grove Caves and tripping a sensor. Rita knows Billy's there, so Frankie's on the attack. Billy morphs, but uh, he doesn't fare very well. And in the meantime, Rita and her minions, the putties, everyone, they finished mining the super putty. So Rita, she rides atop this massive ball of super putty and she causes an earthquake, I guess, to get the attention of the citizens of Angel Grove. Everybody's screaming and uh, she lets them know that things are going to get real rough and she's just cack cackling, having a good time before she decides to head back to the moon with her mind super putty. I hope she uses that big giant ball of super putty for for something. I mean, hopefully she just she didn't make it just to ride on it. I hope that went on to Finster's workbench. But yeah, Billy shows back up at the youth center, lets the other kids know what is up. They all morph Sans Tommy because he's attacked by putties uh, before he can get there. So he's split off from the group. The other rangers, they're fighting Frankie, and he is beating the living daylights out of them. I think he's deflecting Kimberly's shots with his with his chain. And then Rita makes him grow. They summon the Dinozords and form the Megazord. And he's just wailing all over the Megazord with his chain. And he's just matching them blow for blow. He is a very fierce monster. And they summon the Power Sword, but the sword's not doing much good against him. And I think he keeps knocking them down. Tommy does manage to beat back the putties and he morphs summons the dragon sword and dragon sword's not doing too well against the frankenstein's monster either and the 
I think the thing picks Dragonzord up, slams him into the Megazord. They both fall over. Uh, the Rangers have to split the Megazord into the five Dinozords, and they have to form the Dragonzord fighting mode. And Frankie is ultimately finished off by the Power Staff drill attack. So Frankie's kaput. The episode ends with Alpha winning the costume contest. And of course, everyone is happy, except for Bulk and Skull. They wanted to figure out who it was beneath that robot costume, but Alpha manages to slip out before they can use a can opener on him. So yeah, the episode ends with everyone laughing, but uh, that super putty, that super putty, my friends, has been mined, and Rita now has it on the moon. We don't see a cliffhanger or anything, but we will see the results of their little mining project in the next episode, Gung Ho, and we'll be talking about that next time. So in the meantime, uh, stay away from Frankenstein monsters, and may you win whatever random costume contests you decide to enter in the future. Best of luck to you, my friends, and I'll hear you in the next video.